All right, guys, my new speed controller's here. This is the Hobbywing 130 HV, and um, this is the Opto version. I got the Opto version because I wanted to stick with using a uh, LiPo for my receiver pack, and um, mainly because I didn't want to throw my CG off and have to reconfigure all my equipment for uh, CG placement and all this kind of thing. So uh, this was just easier for me to get the, the Opto version and the programming box. It was cheaper too. So the Opto version with the programming box and some 10 gauge wire. And uh, it came out to pretty close to what I would have paid for um, a 160HV for all this stuff. So not too bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the... Uh, I'm wearing the head cam right now. So I'm going to try and keep my head still. But... I'm going to go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside. Okay. All right, so it's right on top just like that. Okay, so it looks like this pulls straight out. It's pretty big. And to think the 160 is even bigger, man, that, that thing, that sucker must be massive because this thing is huge. I think it's actually a little bit smaller than a, uh, than a, uh, castle though just barely maybe with the fan on um, it might be pretty similar but and I'm definitely gonna be running the fan so we've got the uh, couple stickers that's cool uh, a couple tie wraps that is pretty cool I didn't know they were given stickers with these pink black and blue I could do with more blue and less pink honestly but that's still cool and uh, a little user manual. Oh, pretty looks like a pretty in-depth user manual actually. So one side is in Chinese, the other side is in English. And uh, yeah. Hmm. So, at least there's an instruction manual. Sometimes you don't even get that. Of course, I never fold them up right. So, let's see. The fan. Let's take a look at this fan because I've been curious. They say it's lighter than the castle one. It looks decent. It's definitely a thin frame and pretty lightweight. Hopefully it lasts. And uh, it does come with some wires here. I'm not sure what those are for yet. I guess just to link the uh, throttle, because um, yeah, they're yeah they're plug in. Oh, that's cool. So they plug in instead of being hard wired in. I really like this. Um, that that is excellent. I'm sorry, but the whole wired in thing is just kind of crap on a speed controller this big um, because I've definitely damaged them before and replacing them becomes a pain and so you can just change your wire out like that with an extension perfect um, looks like the bottom is plastic and the top is the heat sink for the uh, FETs and stuff so that's really cool. It's got little mounting feet and uh, some rubber grommets. I'm going to be taking this thing apart and uh, changing these wires out. These are 12 gauge wires and uh, well I'm sure the 12 gauge can handle the current um, just because this is Florida and there is a lot of ambient heat and you know whatever I'm just gonna go ahead and switch them out to 10 gauge wires because all my 6S LiPos use 10 gauge wires so to me that's just sensible um, and these are the wires I'm gonna use uh, I picked these up at um, A-Main 
with the speed controller for a pretty good deal. They had a little sale going on. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and take this out to the workbench and get everything. Well, you know what? Since I'm right here with the camera anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I got a, got a feeling this is going to be a cake thing to open. So I'm going to just go ahead and remove these four screws. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy. The top board comes right, or the top, or the bottom case comes right off. And um, it looks like there is some easy jumper connections here. And I can just pull this daughter board off. Ha! Simple. This is such an awesome design. Oh man, it's well put together too. You want to be careful with static electricity. Um, but that is an awesome design. Makes it very easy to get in here. I'm just going to swap these wires right out. No problem. And... Uh, Man, that's going to be awesome. I don't think these grommets are going to fit. I don't think these grommets are going to fit, but I got some uh, multicolor shrink wrap here that, I, you know, I don't know if this will fit my 10 gauge wire or not, but I didn't have any blue, yellow, or red, so I got one of these little things and you know, I'll make it work. So I'll put a little shrink wrap around here and uh, I, maybe I won't need the grommets. So I don't think it'll fit with the uh, the wire and the grommet anyway. So for now, we'll go ahead and put this right back together. Just work it very carefully because I don't want to transport it like this. And it just pushes right back together. Pretty simple, very good design. I like this speed controller. I think we're going to get along nicely. But, so I'm going to go ahead and go make these changes with the wire and um, I'll get some photos and maybe I'll add those to the end of the video right here and uh, then of course will come the flight tests. So thanks for watching guys.